Why your business needs an attractive character. Hey everyone, my name is Braden Chase, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about the attractive character. What is an attractive character? Well, it's someone who looks very nice. True, but not what I'm talking about. So attractive character, when we are discussing marketing, whether it's affiliate marketing, whether it's content marketing, whether it's sales copy, whether it's whatever you're doing, business, online, offline, whatever you're doing, the concept, the understanding behind this phrase, attractive character, is someone, person, you, who other people can connect with and therefore come into your business in some way. So the attractive character brings attracts people to your business, to you in some way. And it is probably one of the cheapest, most effective, and most like magnetic ways of pulling people to you and growing your business that I know of. People connect with people, not with brands. People connect, like I, I know the, the brand of Nike, you know the brand of Nike, we all know it, but do I feel like an emotional connection with Nike? Not really, right? I might feel an emotional connection with my particular pair of shoes, which are not Nike, but if I did have Nikes, I might like, these shoes are awesome. I love these shoes. I have a connection with these shoes. I want to put on my shoes. Or, a, or like a workout shirt or something from Nike. I would have a connection there, but I don't have a connection with Nike itself. And guess what? Nike knows this. That's why they put people, people, in front of their company, like, oh, Michael Jordan. They put celebrities, athletes, stars, movie people, whatever, they put someone in front of their company as the spokesperson, as the representative, as the, the, the model, whatever. Why? To attract people. That person, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, whoever sports happens to be at the time, they are attracting People. They are the attractive character. Um, the, the classic story with this is actually Subway. Subway had been around for years and years and a long time and they had stores all over the country but they were just kind of like another fast food store, right? Just like um, you know, McDonald's or Burger King just doing sandwiches. So there wasn't anything really special about Subway until they found this guy who ate Subway a lot and lost a ton of weight. I think his name was Jack. Whatever. I don't even remember, right? Um, but they found this guy and they said, hey, he lost a lot of weight. That's cool. Let's put him in front of our company and he will be our attractive character. And it was perfect. And Subway exploded with popularity. People knew him, they knew his story. They saw him, they recognized him. Oh, that's that guy from Subway. He lost a ton of weight. I need to lose a ton of weight. I'm going to go to Subway. And it's really, really that simple. There's a connection between people that cannot happen between a person and a company or a person and a brand or a person and a logo. But a person and a face, a person and another person, a real connection can happen there. And that's the whole idea behind an attractive character. So for businesses to grow. You see this with multi-million dollar companies, billion dollar companies. You also see it with little tiny stores and little and, and small like courses that are online with you know individual entrepreneurs or course builders or whatever. It's the individual that attracts people to them. I mean you can you can probably remember in your in your schooling when you went through high school or college, there were particular teachers that you went, oh that I love math or I love biology or I love English or whatever because of that teacher, because of their passion, because of them, I love this now and I move forward and make a connection. You've connected with them and now because of them, you've moved on into that subject or that topic or something like that. It's the same idea. It's this attractive character. They pull you in. So as a business owner, whether you're doing affiliate marketing or you're doing, you know, whatever else, as a business owner, you need to have an attractive character out front. And the best way to do this, the cheapest way to do this, the most effective way to do this, the fastest way to do this is for it to be you, for you to be the attractive character. 
So right now in my business, I am the attractive character. Hi. And that can be confusing, right? Because I'm not particularly attractive. But the idea is that I am me and I am talking and I am sharing and I am teaching. I'm helping you understand something about marketing that's important and that was important for me to learn. And now here I'm sharing it with you because you need to know it. It's helpful for you. And now you're attracted to me, right? I'm so sinister in my plots and plans. But this is just the reality of how things work. By sharing what I know, I bring people to me. And if you do the same thing, if you share what you know, if you share either your knowledge or your product, like like you sell, I don't know, water bottles, you, you put yourself as the person. Hey man, I am up climbing this mountain and I have this cool water bottle that I'm selling and it helps me so much. Come check this out because this helps me, I bet it'll help you too. And it's really that simple, okay? And that, that might be you know, a little bit too cheesy. I'm sorry if I'm not a great one-on-one -on -one salesman in that sentence, but the idea is true. If I see someone who's actually out on the mountain or actually playing basketball or whatever, and they have a water bottle and they say, yeah, I made this. I go, wow, I'm suddenly interested. But if I just see a water bottle there, I'm like, there's a water bottle. I might not even notice it. I don't even look, right? I don't care. There are millions of water bottles. I don't care. But now there's a person attached to it. Now I care, okay? That's how this works. That's what an attractive character is. That's what the idea is. Now, does that mean you need to be like, you know, a dancing monkey, jump up in front and always grab people's attention, be throwing out videos every single day or, or whatever? No, that doesn't. Um, but it does mean that you do need to be visible in some way, whether that's on Instagram, put a little image up there at the top, right? And, you know, post whatever you want. Doesn't even have to be you, but you're there. There's a face, there's a person that's going on. There's a, there's a big internet marketer that I know. I won't share her name because I don't want to cause any problems, but she's you know multi-multi-millionaire in internet marketing. And when she started, she had a company and the company had a name. And she you know developed this name, it was very artistic and beautiful and very attractive. It was a great name for her company. Um, but as she began to learn this idea of, of attractive character, she's like, I am missing out on like such incredible power for my business. And she closed that business and restarted it with her own name. Because she's like, it needs to be me. This is too powerful. I cannot allow my business to fight in this way. And I need people to connect with me. So now instead of whatever the name of the company was, it's now going to be my name media or my name dot com or my name something because it's me. And her business went from, you know, 300, you know, 100 to $200,000 a year to now she's breaking like 10 million. Okay. Crazy, crazy money. Why? Because she's been able to attract people to her, to herself, not to her business, not to her services, not to her things, not to her products that she sells, but to her. So since they're attached to her, she can now sell them a course or sell them a product or sell them a coaching or sell them a whatever she wants to do sell them a service because they're attached to her. And anything that she does is okay because it's all attached to her. And the same principle can attach for you, can function for you. You are trying to sell uh, a course. You're trying to sell a water bottle. You're trying to sell, water bottles are great by the way. You're trying to sell um, razors. You're trying to sell a book. You're trying to sell whatever. Whatever it is you're trying to sell, put yourself with it. At least with it, if not in front of it. Because you can sell your book as you, hi, here's me, and I'm cool, for whatever reason, because you are, you are cool. And I have this book, and it's so cool. This book helped me in this way, it's so awesome, and I bet it will help you too. If you wanna check out some more information, come over here, click on this link, and you can read and watch my video, or whatever, read my story about why this book is so good and why it'll help you, okay? Now, I have stopped because there's a person a living, breathing person talking to me. Not a chat bot, not an automated message, not an anything, but an actual live person is sharing a message with me. I'm human, I care about that. And guess what? You're human too. And I bet you care about that kind of stuff too. And we can do that. And we can help people with our messages and by sharing our story. And by helping people, they come to us. And since they've come to us, they're like, hey, 
what do you have to sell me? It's like, oh, I have this. I have a book. I have water bottles. I have drinks. I have a store that I want you to come into. I have soccer balls. I have bookshelves. I have a course. I have software, whatever it is, right? Attach it, attach the people to you, and then you can sell them the software or the pictures or the videos or the course or the whatever you want to do because they're attached to you. It doesn't matter what you produce and what you share because they aren't there for the thing. They're there for you. Okay? And the thing. But they're there for you. And that's the coolest part about this whole thing. All you need to do is be you. You don't need to be the right person. You don't need to be, I'm crazy perfect. I mean, look at me. I'm in a t-shirt. I, mean, I got a collar, so that's nice. But like, I don't have a shirt and tie. I don't have a suit on. I'm just being me. I'm being a human being. And I'm sharing and talking. And you can tell. I'm not like this polished professional speaker. I stutter sometimes and I'm like, uh, what am I saying? And so what? Okay. The idea is what I'm sharing with you. And if you've watched this far into the video, then there's something here and you're feeling this connection with me. And it's exactly this kind of connection that I can help you get with your customers and that you can get with your customers if you learn how to do this kind of attraction, marketing, attraction, tools, right? Attractive character. If you become your attractive character, you can bring people to you the same way that I have brought you to me. Okay, so I hope that was helpful for you guys to learn. If you have any questions, post in the comments. I love to communicate with you. If you have, if you need help with this, right? If you like, you get the idea, but you're like, how do I actually do this thing? You can go to bradenchase.com. That's my website. Okay, my name, my website. And I, this is what I do, right? I help people improve their marketing so that it's effective, so that it's efficient, and so that it actually helps people. Because for me, that's what it's all about. It's about helping people. So if you want to help people, which I bet you do, if you want to expand your business, which I bet you do, if you want to make more money, which I bet you do, come talk to me and we'll help it out. I got a link underneath, right? Bradenchase.com. Click on that and we'll have a great time. Thanks, buds. Bye.